Jut is good, it's your boy Sam back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be doing a complete breakdown on how to guarantee yourself a pink diamond galaxy opal or higher player in NBA 2K24 my team for a simple agenda grind which is this nebula spotlight grind as well as the rest of the agendas now Here's the thing I like about it this week. Most of the pink diamonds are really good. Like if you get Caruso, Tyrus, Thomas, Dyson Daniels, Dino, Jordan Walsh should be solid as well. You are doing good. And even if you get Gallo, you can come in here to the exchange and go to packs and, uh, and re-roll. So what I would do is if you got Gallo, plug him in here as well as pick up a 21,000 uh, pink diamond in the player market. Reroll and you should get a better player can do that once every day but if you do get a good peak diamond just hold them no reason to try to upgrade them now what is this grind well here's what here's what you have to do you have to complete the nebula spotlight challenge which if you go here first to the spotlights guys super easy these are always really easy you do get a base pack as well as a normal pack as well for completing the spotlights then you come in here to the agendas then you win five clutch time offline games using rush players as long as you have rush players super easy if you don't have any rush players guys this is a challenge that is concerning. If you don't have any rush players, obviously, I'm going to make things way more difficult. Win a game using 13 magic players. I think you can do that in a spotlight challenge. I'd confirm uh, before you do anything else, but I do believe that you can just go into a spotlight challenge and do that. So you plug 13 players into a, a team, go into a spotlight challenge should be easy. 60 points in the paint over multiple multiplayer games, easy to do. Uh, 53 pointers with pink diamond or higher players over multiple games, easy to do. I would try to do that with this so if you go into clutch time offline i try to get this done as well uh in there and then make seven three pointers and score 20 points in the paint with the player in the game you could probably do that in a clutch time offline game as well what is that 41 points you could probably get that done in a clutch time offline game so my whole thing is this this as well as this can all do that in clutch time offline probably 60 points to paint in multiplayer that's something you might have to do separately so maybe you go into a clutch time online game or two score some points in the paint get it done like that and then get a, win a game using uh, 13 Magic players. That should be relatively easy to do as well. So this entire Spotlight Challenge, I think it probably will take you about an hour to do, if I had to guess. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But an hour grind, you're guaranteeing yourself three packs, as well as one that guarantees yourself a pink diamond or a higher player. I think you can do a lot worse than that, honestly. And like even for myself, guys, like is it something I'm excited to grind? Not really. But it is an easy grind. Like these win a game to 15, 21, and then you have to, what is this, score 50 points in a game. Like all of those things are super easy to do. And even in the last challenge, score 50 points in a game. Well, guess what? Maybe you just do this challenge in that game as well. So then you are able to just move forward to what you want. The thing I do first is to win a game using 13 magic players. And for the sake of this video, guys, I'll go into a challenge just to confirm or deny if you can actually get that done. Now, what I do is I go into this three point scoring challenge challenge now should i go into this should i go into something else I, I, I don't know it doesn't to me really matter a whole bunch the problem is do i have 13 magic players and that might be a problem for you guys as well like i mentioned the rush players if you do not have five rush players might be somewhat difficult but even with these magic players what happens if you don't have 13 magic players well then you can go buy some but again it's going to make this challenge just a little bit more difficult so just kind of know that just kind of realize what you are getting into before you start the grind and then realize man i gotta spend all this mt or do this or do that realize what you are getting yourself into now i do overall like this grind so even if you have to spend i don't know a couple thousand mt a few thousand mt it's probably worth your time because again you're getting a free pink diamond or higher player and uh and again I, I i can't necessarily just hate on that a free pink diamond especially when all the pink diamonds are pretty solid is not something i can be too mad about especially for an hour long grind or so again that's where i'd put your attention today i know everybody's fasted oh Wemby's in the game new packs all this stuff okay all that's fine but the one thing i'd pay attention to is okay grind uh, grind for this pink diamond see what you can pull and then go from there. Again, have fun playing the game and try not to spend money just gambling on the pack. So make six three-pointers at a time. Ah, I cl cl clicked the wrong team. But I'm guessing since it doesn't say excluding challenges, 
it should work. Now we'll see because I know the last couple of weeks it has said excluding challenges. So that's why I'm trying to, you know, clarify this for you guys before you do what I'm about to do and then realize what tie? Like it didn't count. Why? So yeah, I'm just trying to get that confirmed. But I just go into this three point scoring challenge. And I do think there's a challenge like knock down threes with pink diamonds or something. So maybe I'll be able to knock down a couple with Franz Wagner or Bon Caro and, and go from there. And, 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 and honestly, guys, I, 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 I got to say the content the last couple Fridays or the last few Fridays, it's not just been a couple at this point has been has been horrible i think us as a community can agree to that like nobody is going to doubt that but i do like the fact that you are able to get a free pink diamond especially with the pink diamond drop today uh for for just grinding some simple agendas like i like that is the content overall good no I'm not saying that i'm saying there are a lot of problems with this everybody is is probably going to agree with me on that but at least there is one positive to take away from today the pink diamonds were better number one and number two you can get a pink diamond for free so let's say you just started the game i know it's going to be tough to maybe get some magic players i know it's going to be tough for you guys to maybe get some rush players but if you can find a way to get some magic players find a way to get a a, a few rush players i think it's going to make your time just definitely way better and even for me I like every week on Friday loading up, at least grinding this and then going from there. Like, why? that's just kind of how my Fridays go. I grind this out and then we'll go from there. Like, uh, do I expect to pull anything crazy? No, I don't. But you never know. What if Wemby pops out? You know, what, what if, you know, a crazy card pops out too? So it is definitely worth your time. It is definitely something I personally recommend doing. Now, if this is not available to do in the Spotlight Challenge and you have to go into Domination, that changes this whole grind from being, you know, an hour grind to, I don't know, I don't know exactly how long it would take, an hour and 30 minutes maybe. Definitely a longer grind though uh, in, in that, but halfway done here in this spotlight game we'll check back here in a second just knock down the six threes now it's it's time to see does this count because if it does this is th this whole spot or th th this whole agenda is going to be super easy getting the spotlight done is going to be easy winning in clutch time is going to be easy so yeah it doesn't have to be in challenge games which just makes this whole grind super easy you should be able to get all of this done within an hour again already started knocking down as some of those threes with being diving or higher players so this is something today i would load up and set your sights on forget gambling on packs forget every all of those things this is a deluxe pack too remember you can't even get deluxe packs here from the pack market the only way to guarantee yourself a deluxe guaranteed pink diamond is by grinding this out so that's where i'm at today that's what i am personally going to continue to grind is it something that i think you know is is super exciting for me to grind not necessarily but it is something that i do think is going to be worth your time because again you get caruso he's fine you get tyrus thomas he can play at the highest level jordan walsh is solid dice and daniels dino all of those cards can play at a really high level. Are any of them, you know, top five at their positions? I don't think I'd ever say any say that much, but all of those cards can play at a really, really, really high level. And that's something that I do think is important when looking at this. Now, a lot of people might ask, Ty, okay, so let's say this. Say I grind this deluxe pack. I pulled Dino, okay? So, so let's say you grind the deluxe pack and then you pull Dino. So that's 105,000 empty. Should I lock in the set then? So I've already got Dino. The rest of the set isn't that expensive, right? So should I just lock it in? What I would say is this, you're spending 440,000 MT on a Galaxy Opal and all of these pink diamonds are then locked in. Then that is totally up to you, but you're gambling on a pack for a Galaxy Opal and no one realized the Galaxy Opals in this drop aren't great. You pull Bradley Beal, he's not good. D-Wade's not great. Siakam, not great. Iggy's solid, but that's about it. And just realize we don't even know the odds of that pack either. Like you lock in this set, what are the odds of the Nebula Plus pack? Do we know that? No. Everything is hidden when it comes to odds, and it's something that absolutely bugs me to the max. So I personally wouldn't necessarily recommend locking in this set because, again, you're probably just going to ultimately pull that Galaxy Opal, and then in turn, it's going to make you mad on uh, j just in turn. So that's just kind of where I'm at with everything. But grind this out, see what you guys pull, and uh, and go from there. Just build your squad slowly but surely. It is annoying you got to use rush players. It is annoying you got to have 13 magic players. But at the end of the day, at least with the magic players, you can do it in a challenge game, which is going to save you quite a bit of time. That's going to wrap it up for my video talking about a guaranteed pink diamond galaxy opal dark matter or 100 overall i guess you can pull any of them let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and as always man i love you guys have a blessed day